Hello everybody and welcome back to another quick WordPress and Elementor tutorial. Uh, I was thinking the other day that it would be kind of cool to have sort of an app style navigation menu on websites or the mobile version of websites. So I was thinking if whether or not it would be possible to do that in Elementor. So let me just show you the type of menu that I'm talking about. This is just a screenshot of the Fiverr app. And as you can see, they have this bottom navigation menu that's fixed to the to the to this to, to the app. So whichever page you go to. Uh, this navigation menu will, will be right here, right here at the bottom and as you can see Instagram uses the same thing in a lot of modern apps They use they use that type of, of navigation So I wanted to try to achieve the same thing in Elementor and it turned out to be super easy So I thought I'd just make a quick video showing you how you could do it So the first thing that I'm going to do is just add a section just a regular section is fine and Then we're going to just jump right into it and I'm going to add a heading and I'm going to add an icon widget and place that at the top here. They're both centered, that's very good, or now the heading is centered at least. And I did some experimentations earlier and I know that 25 is a good size for the icon. And I know that, let's see here, 14 is a good size for the heading for mobile. And I want the icon to have the same color as this other theme color, if you want to call it that here. So I'm going to paste that in and make it yellow. And I actually want the background of this section to be black. I'm just going to go all in and try to make it pretty cool. And then the heading can be white. And then I obviously I don't want as much space between these right here. So I'm going to set this to zero. And then I want the column width to be 20 because we're going to have five sort of items uh, here. So, so you know, 100 times 5, that's 20 according to my math. And then I'm just going to write home, just create sort of like a fictional menu for this and add the appropriate icon. And then I'm going to duplicate the section five times. I'm going to try to speed this up because I'm sure you could probably figure this out on your own, but let's just go right through it and then we could probably have a menu thing and then let's just see if I can find a appropriate icon. I saw the spoon here earlier, so I'm going to go with that <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> excuse me, booking, let's add that booking <clears throat> right there. Let's just add a uh, book icon. It's as good as it's as good an icon I could come up with right now. You could obviously do this with with different icons, and then we could have sort of a picture. You could imagine a picture page on the site, pictures, and then a contact us page. So envelope, I believe. Yeah. You could experiment with, with these different icons again and just you can also upload your own icons by the way. I saw somebody who did that. It's pretty cool. Uh, so contact. So there we have it right there. there. There's the navigation menu. So now the only thing remaining to be done is to make it stick to the bottom of the screen. And <clears throat> you might have seen that Elementor now has the option to add a scrolling effect. So you could do this and you could make it so that it sticks to the top of the page on mobile in this case. So it would be like that. So if you if so if you want this at the top, you could do this and just leave it as is. But if you want it to stick to the bottom, you actually, as far as I'm concerned, cannot use this feature. So we're just going to add two lines of CSS to achieve the effect. So I'm just going to type selector and then position fixed. And by the way, before I do anything else, we need to increase the C index of the section. Because if you don't do that, it'll disappear behind the other uh, content. So let me just bump it up to, just keep it at 10. And then the next thing that I'm going to do, as you can see here, before I do anything else, this section isn't really f full width at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the layout, and I'm going to stretch the section. So there we have it. And then back in the CSS tab, just another line is required. We're going to type in bottom, and then zero semicolon, brackets, and there you go. Very cool, huh? And I did actually try this 
earlier today on a live website where I could, you know, actually check it out on 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 my phone, and it looks really good. Um, so if I were to put this on a live site, I would probably make this a little bit smaller, the the font size a little bit smaller, and stuff like that. Maybe do some more. I don't know, some more uh, matching icons, maybe has with some frames or whatever. But as you can see, this works pretty well and it should work on any smartphone because this is just very basic CSS that any browser and phone can process. So there you go. It's pretty cool, isn't it? And I guess that's it for this video. Maybe I'll see you back in another one someday. Thanks for watching and have a good day.